Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2, where John Cole and I have the distinct pleasure of speaking with the old philosopher, Bill Jordan. No, no, no. no. Our, our pleasure doesn't stink. I, I like it. I, I think we have nice conversations with Bill. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, you want to get you got to put batteries in those guys. Like like this one, this one doesn't stink. No, it doesn't. Hey, Bill. Little play on words. I always appreciate the play on words. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's good to see you again. Uh, love good to see you guys. You. Thanks for having me back. You know, it's interesting because we're on different sides of the country, um, but we we have this wonderful friendship. Uh, it's like uh, we're getting together for coffee every once in a while, and it's it's wonderful. I, I just love I, and I think one of the things that adds adds to this friendship is we've never actually met because if the three of us ever really got together, that might be just before the last episode. Well, <laughs> probably I can I can probably guarantee you wherever we meet, we'd be thrown out within thirty minutes. Yes, <laughs> and that includes any of our houses. So yeah. let's 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 call it Indiana. <laughs> okay. So, I, you know, one of the things I noticed is that because the three of us are, are of a certain age, our conversations all seem to revolve around certain things, mostly being old white guys. <laughs> uh, there, you know, there is that. Um, I was thinking the other day when we, we met uh, a couple, they're younger than, I mean, he's uh, he's like nine years younger than I, the, the wife is 14 years younger, but still... They're starting to encroach on what we talk about. So uh, over uh, dinner, we, we may have been talking back in the day about, you know, going to some cool place for vacation or what cool concert we were going to. Right. We find ourselves now meeting at a nice restaurant, seafood restaurant in Raleigh, and we're talking about, man, I just can't get to sleep at night. What do you do to help you get to sleep? Have you got yep. any going to sleep tips? Have you got, hey, my elbow's been hurting. And did you ever have that when you were about my age? You know, and and it's what medical procedures you've got coming up. And yep. then, you know, and of course, once you have kids, you're, you're talking about your, your kids. But I'll tell you, once you get, I don't know whatever the age is, but I've got several friends that, you know, if... If the discussion of fiber is not in uh, our meeting, it's just, you know, I mean, they we could they could just put a camera on us and just we do Metamucil ads, uh, ad nauseum. No point. Well, you know, the, first, the uh, first time I ever noticed something like that was about uh, fifteen or twenty years ago, uh, well before our certain age, and um, my wife and I were on a trip back east. And we had dinner with uh, uh, my best college friend. Uh, and all through dinner, he would get up every so often and go to the, excuse himself. And by the end of the dinner, he was saying, don't you have to get up and pee? And I didn't know what he was talking about. He was obviously well into, we were the same, same age, but he was well into, I guess, uh, prostate issues. And... Uh, I had no idea. What, a, I had little idea what he was talking about. Uh, now I do. Today I do. <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, those are the kind of things, I guess, that, that creep into it. But most of the friends that uh, we have, we don't sort of tolerate that. Kind of, when, when somebody starts talking about, I remember people used to talk about uh, insurance policies. And they were talking about, one couple was talking about burial plots. And I, oh, so, my Lord. Have we reached that age yet? Well, we haven't. I've got a 25-year rolling plan, so, you know. I <laughs> That's have to... right. It's your rolling plan. <laughs> right. But yeah. but um, uh, you, be, you being in a certain place of the, the uh, uh, country probably have more retired. Well, I live in a retirement community, but we're, we don't speak to a lot of the people locally here because we're all independent. Uh, but I guess um, if you're with the same friends over and over again, we tend not to have those conversations because it's boring. I don't want to be. I want to be talking well, about living talk, stuff. We don't talk about. We don't talk about burial plots necessarily. But you know, on a serious note, we do talk about the. You know the the realization. I mean, the reality of our mortality. And yeah. you know, planning for taking care of our spouses or kids or leaving them something, and how do you plan that? And, and kind of on a funny note, and I may have mentioned this to you guys before, speaking of, and then tying it into how do you go to sleep, I'll, I'll read at night. 
and I turn my light off. And then I get into, I call it the casket ready position. I'll be like this, <laughs> like that. And, and anyway, so one night I turn the light out, Marianne turns her light out and out of the darkness comes her sweet voice saying, I was just lying here wondering how I would ever identify your body if I had to. <laughs> nice. Oh Lord, oh Lord, what a thought. So <laughs> that's a conversation that I never had. How did you? Because I'm going, well, I got a scar on this finger. I've got a scar. Uh, I was going to say, that's when you have to go out and get a tattoo, you know. And how long have you been <laughs> sleeping with one eye open since that This is me. Your tattoo is, this is me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it, it does seem that you could almost tell somebody's age by the conversation they're having, right? So Yeah, I had a doctor at Duke one time tell me, he says, tell me what procedure's coming up and I'll tell you how old, how old you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to be of a certain age to start talking about your grandkids, don't you? Uh, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, that's one of the beauties of getting older. People who, you know, they don't want to get old, quote old. It's like, man, you don't get. I've got three grandkids, man. I love them, and just when they get to that, like our youngest is, you know, she's like eighteen months, and she's, I don't want to say just now, but she is is now actively interacting with me. Yeah, smiles when she sees me, runs to me, reaches up for me to to hold her. And you just, man, you can't buy that. And you don't get that when you're 30. And, yeah. and and there's nothing, I'll tell you again, and I tell my 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 younger friends as they are becoming grandparents or people my age becoming grandparents, there is nothing, or as we say in the South, there ain't nothing like holding your child's child. There just yeah. isn't. And that's yeah. another whole realm of conversation that you never had when you were a kid. You don't think yeah. about becoming a grandparent when you're when you're so young. So we should we should be happy that we are of the age where we can have these kinds of conversations and they're meaningful. Mm. Uh, well, I'm not saying you know what that they change in a bad way. They're just different. Absolutely. Hey, if you're if you're up and as they say above ground and having a conversation with anybody, it's a good day. Right. So so Bill, I think that the only thing that uh, maybe we can conclude from this conversation is that until your grandchild, uh, and I'm talking about the ones that are under five or six years old, ask you how they can identify their body. They were worried about how they could identify your body should the need arise. Uh, I think we're in pretty good shape, though. We should be able to adapt. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's all good, man. I'm, you know, and and, I, and that's all part of my, if I, I'm going to do my shameless plug before you guys even lead me into it. And that's the whole part of when I started this Embrace the Boom thing was hearing some of my friends who are around my age complain about getting older and some of the aches and pains that happen. And certainly there are challenges about getting older. But hey, man, if we're living, it's like I say, if you're above the ground, it's a, it's a good day. You can find something good in it. So that's why I would encourage you to live your life and forget your age and embrace the boom. Boom being baby boomer, by the way. Yeah. So embrace oh, the boom. I think I think I got that part. Yeah. Here, here. Yeah. Yeah. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.